Hi, welcome to Andrew Buckle comic slash magazine review of Miss America. Now this is teen life, teen living. I'm not certain. It just suddenly gets cut off. There. Obviously, if I had a couple of other issues, I might be able to tell what it is. However, of course, Miss America was a magazine that had the Miss America from Timely Comics. This is a Timely comic. And April 1946. It was still timely at this point, though you would never be able to tell from this uh, magazine. Got lots of lovely adverts in this. I love the adverts. Always great. Lovely picture of a cat there as well. Can't beat that. And weirdly, it is, it says here, Miss America magazine by Miss America Publishing Corporation. 4,600 Diversity Avenue, Chicago. Nevertheless, most of However, this is volume three, number six. They had weird numbering for this. Of course, you've got lots of other adverts for various fashions. And it contains a variety of things. You've got Hollywood's Younger Set, uh, Gay Gar, Making Tomorrow's Music by Duke Ellington, Giggles by, and so on and so on. Everybody sing. And also you've got a Patsy Walker, good old Patsy Walker. So there's obviously Duke Ellington there. Little article, not a very big article about music. However, that would have been quite nice. Actually, some music, how to play piano, how to learn syncopation, whatever, all those sort of things. Maybe. All very useful information. However, you've got another advert there. There's lots of adverts all the way through this very slightly tatty. Well, that's quite nice. Illustrated there. Giggles. And another sort of pictures there. And let's just go to the thing. Pages are actually quite slippery. They're actually, it's a weird sort of, I'm not certain what quality paper this is. It's got a sort of shine to it. it makes it quite hard to actually turn the page. Tell it to your diary. Obviously, got an illustration there as well. Do you keep a diary? I do. So, uh, loads of one. Petite teen. I don't know how you actually say that. Petite teen? Anyway, whatever. And you've also got here Hollywood glamour, Hollywood spotlight on glamour and fame. So, we've got all lots of things. Again, it's virtually impossible to turn a page. Now, there's about 76 pages in this. Oh, finally got to the Patsy Walker comic. That's the key thing. Patsy Walker comic. So, you've got Patsy Walker there. In a very, very, of course, later she became Hellcat in the Defenders. So obviously at this point she was not doing any defending. There was no uh, Doctor Strange, Hulk, Silver Surfer, etc. But uh, it wasn't even a very long story. We we're talking about four or five pages. That was it. So they would do a very short story. And again, very tricky to turn the pages. Very strange. Oh, there it is. Just turn there. I love the artwork of this period. I must admit, it was had a certain simplicity. I mean, there was, you know, very, very basic artwork. But at the same time, it actually told the story and worked very well. This one also, you also had a little joke sections, used textbooks. It's got to be very old. I want the profess to think I... Well, don't know. No idea. I'm certain it's uh, for girls only. And you've also got lots of other... What's been modern... Out of the mailbox, you've obviously people's letters, pages, etc. Uh, Jane Withers picks a star. Jane Withers Republic Productions. I know, I vaguely remember the name, Jane Withers. And you've got other ones there. Miss America's Pen Pals. I love this one. Pen Pals. Got a long list of Pen Pals, all the names, etc. And their addresses. That would not happen nowadays. There is no way in a million years they would put this in a magazine now with all the letters pages. Just wouldn't happen so uh, but it's just back then oh another one adventures of arlene heiress obviously a little advert there just one no idea what that was for arlene heiress stinky sachet not certainly one. Oh, really sweet stinky sachet who would get a, st a stinky sachet very strange and then you've got some other adverts, which I love. And also you've even got uh, Girls, it's Swoon-sational. Swoon base bracelet. Because they would all see Frank Sinatra and all that sort of stuff, I guess, all that sort of period of the time. I don't know if he's even in pictures. Oh, yeah, Frank Sinatra. You've got a little picture of Frank Sinatra there. Bing Crosby, of course. Don't ask me the other people. No idea. However, in this one, I love this one. Sportsters. Sportsters. Hmm. Sandler of Boston. In the back. Obviously some plane for some weird reason and some shoes so i love these sort of magazines i have i did actually have quite a few of these i think i've got two of these issues miss americas but uh and i actually had some nicer miss americas with some really a christmas one that was really great but uh, sadly i haven't got it but uh, still it's full of pieces as well bits more coming off that as a talk but it's still miss america 1946 the great these issues you can pick them up 
reasonably easily, especially in the States. Not so common in the UK. Of course, we just didn't have this sort of, um, it might have come to the UK, no idea. But uh, I don't think it was as common here as it, obviously in the States. So, really enjoyable. Miss America.